Here we are to review the new textbook section that Apple has created. What I did yesterday is downloaded or updated the iBooks to, I guess it's iBooks 2, although it's not indicated anywhere. What it does is it opens up to the uh, last location that I happen to be, and in this case it is chapter 8. And you can see that it's a nice picture and it looks like this is the title for chapter 8. It kind of shows you the basic structure of the chapter, which is not unique to the iBooks, but rather just unique to the text itself. What I will do is quickly go into the table of contents, which is right there, the three little lines. I can access table of contents and a glossary. So table of contents is a little bit different in that it's kind of dynamic. I can swipe back and forth to get the various chapters uh, and see within those chapters the contents themselves in each section within those chapters down below you can see that there are the pages that are associated with that chapter. The green ones I think are lessons and the purple ones I think typically represent um, some lab. So taking a quick look at that I can go ahead and touch that particular page and I can see that it's an extension and it shows a, a graphic technology lab which is nice and as you look around the page you'll see down here there's uh, Common Core State Standards if I touch that it'll show which standard it aligns with and I will close it and now what I can do is I can go to the next page of this lab and continue to go through the, the lab as you would page by page in a book um, that's kinda nice so it's nice to have this book and it's actually pretty rigorous what I will do now is go ahead and look and take away the page which is kind of interesting you can go like that sometimes I don't do so well at it and place the page back in this line of contents so now I can kind of see um, the various pages and I can look at other lessons that I might have available to me let's just click on another page that I might have right there and that is a study tip so I can click on that and it kind of um, enlarges and as I go through these things, there's some guided practice, um, a real world link, which just opens up. I haven't been able to find any extra thing like going to a website or something of that nature. And I continue to go through, and I can see that this is kind of the way I can go through the chapters. Occasionally, on the left side, there is something called selected answers and step by step solutions. Okay, there's one right there, it shows the lesson 6 2 and it gives us the answers to the odds of this section. Um, in addition to that you'll find the occasional video lesson and kind of a working out the problem type lesson. And so I'll drag this back down into here which again I said is not so good at and sometimes I'm really bad at it. There we go. So I can go up here to go to the next section or the next chapter, quadratic expressions and equations and like I said it goes through these things. It also gives you a mid-chapter quiz and I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I think it'll open for me. The mid-chapter quiz is kind of nice because it allows me to actually take a quiz within the book itself. So I can kind of take this, it says right here, you have two options for completing the quiz. Take the quiz at the right, which you could do right here. And then you could also take this self-check quiz right here, which is kind of nice. It's uh, A, B, C, D, and I can check my answer gives me the question and in this case there are uh, 37 possible questions and I can go through each one of them for practice which is really nice so now I can go ahead and I've got to figure out a better way to put these pages back I'm sure there is but I haven't uh, found it yet so now I'll go and continue to go past sorry through some of these to maybe towards the end of the chapter uh, and I can have a study guide and review and a practice test, a few things like that. You can see they're pretty good with these practice tests. Another extra practice problem set, and then another self-check test right there. Additionally, you will find, and I think I can see from here, the occasional video that's associated with these things. And then on a graphing one, it even gave, gave us a kind of a make mock uh, graphing calculator that we could uh, use to check and test some of the results of changing um, various factors on problems. So there's a video one it looks like right here. So I can see here are some problems in lesson 8.8 eight, and it's talking about factoring. If I click this right here it has a... Let's practice recognizing and factoring perfect square trinomials. 
Determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. Write yes or no. If yes, factor it. So I'm done with this. I don't want to watch the whole thing. And you can see that there's a chance to do quite a few things with this. Let me just get that page back. There's got to be a better way. Uh, now I'm going to go up here. What I think is really interesting here too is this note card section. Um, you can see this is any of the notes that I might have annotated, actually not annotated, but highlighted throughout the course of reviewing the book. So for chapter one I just played around with it and highlighted a couple of sections. When I highlight those sections it goes into this my notes section here. It takes just a minute to get to those and you'll see these are the ones I did. I called this one test note. This one right here I didn't call anything and this one just happens to be addition properties. What also is pretty nice is that from this point I can share my notes by email. I select all of the notes let's just say and I can email them which is great and then what I also can do is these things will make study cards out of them kind of like flashcards so the, the thing that I highlighted ends up being the front of the flashcard and then I click that for the back of the flashcard. And then there's another flashcard here for the ones I made, another one here, and then they even have some predefined ones that you can take a look at. Notes that end up in the flashcards. Well, I can just go ahead and uh, I think I click on it and then maybe drag it, and then that could become uh, something that I highlight. And I can choose the color that I want to highlight it in. And I'm going to go ahead and write a little note. Note this test item and then I'll say I'm all done there, click out of it and then I can see that there's a note over there. I can also click that and double click it actually and I can highlight it and I'll also highlight that in green. So now when I go to my notes I click up here and I'll see table of contents, there's my notes right there and I have a couple new notes in here. So these now are notes which also end up being study cards. So all in all a pretty good deal. I guess the big